Nikilam method is a method of division and we usually use the base of the divisor to complete this division using Nikilam method. It is useful when the divisor that we're talking about is nearer to a base. Base is supposed to be a power of 10 such as it could be a 10, 100, 1000 etc. Mostly because we are looking at a divisor it it is a possibility that it will be near to 10 or 100. An example of such a division could be 132 divided by 9. In this case, the divisor is 9. And when we talk about a base, because 9 is closer to which power of 10? It's closer to 10. So in this case, base of 9 will be 10. So I'll just quickly write it in different color. So base here will be 10 and we need to learn about what is a supplement divisor. It's an important concept before we learn about the Nikolum method. So supplement divisor is going to be 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. We are looking at a specific case when base is greater than divisor. So let's see how we can complete Nikolum method now. So the example that we are solving here is 132 divided by 9. In order to start with Nikhilam method, we should make three parts of the page where we are solving this example. So let's create two lines like these and we will complete our division here. So now first of all, let's write the divisor on the leftmost part and below that we write our supplement divisor. Supplement divisor is 10 minus 9 which is 1. So we'll write 1 here like this and then we write the dividend which is 132 remember that this is a dividend and we want to write dividend in these two parts the right hand part of the page is reserved for the remainder in this case because the base that we have chosen is 10 and there is only one zero there the remainder will also be a one digit number so we just have to reserve one place for the right hand side and we can write two from 132 here and rest of the digits 1 and 3 like this. So this is how we start with Nikilam method by writing down the dividend and divisor in this fashion. Now the next step is to draw a horizontal line like this and then bring down the first digit of the dividend below which is 1. Now we have to multiply supplement divisor and this digit that we have brought down 1 times 1. And the result is going to be 1 again and we write the result below the next digit of the dividend and then we just combine these digits and we get 4. Now we multiply the supplement divisor by the, the result that we obtained here and so we will again do plus plus 1 times 4 which gives you 4 and then we write the result below the third digit of the dividend. And then we combine these two and we get 6. Now we have to check few things. Is the result that we have got here less than the divisor that is 9? Yes, 6 is indeed less than 9. So that means we have finished our division. So now this part here shows us the quotient and the rightmost part shows us the remainder. And that completes our division using Nikhilam method. Again, please note down Nikhilam method is particularly useful when the divisors are closer to the base. We can like test this result. If we multiply quotient by the divisor, which is nine, and then we add the remainder, we get 126 plus six, which is 132. And that equals the dividend. So our division here is correct. Now we will find out division 138 divided by 9 again the base is 10 and the divisor is 9 so supplement divisor is going to be 1 and now let's create three parts of the page again like this let's write the divisor 9 and below that we will write the supplement divisor in yellow let's write it in yellow let me put it in the brackets. Now we write 138 in the middle and the rightmost part in a way that the rightmost part is dedicated to a one digit number because the divisor that we are looking at is a one digit number. So this is eight and then we can write one and three like these. Now 
quickly put the horizontal line like that bring down this one and then we will multiply the supplement divisor with first digit of the dividend which gives you one then we write the result below the second digit of the dividend and the result we get is four now we multiply supplement divisor one with the four and the result we get is four and we write that four below the third digit of the dividend as you can see the result for the remainder is 12. now what do we do in such case because we can only put one digit in the last column we have to cancel this one and write this one here again i'm just extending these columns now so we have cancelled that one from 12 and written it on the left hand part because our division is not yet complete because our remainder was more than nine or rather it it was a two digit number now because we have obtained this one in the central part we will again have to multiply that newly generated green one with the supplement divisor so yellow one multiplied by this green one i am hopefully choosing the right green here and the result is again one and then we will write this result on the right hand side again and now we will sum 14 and 1 which gives you 15 and on the right hand side we get 3 and have we got a single digit remainder yes and so this is a remainder for the answer and this is the quotient